Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God. Hoping that you have had a great week and in the presence of the Lord, you have been given all the strength, all the comfort by the Holy Spirit. Hoping the Lord is going to continue giving you wisdom and knowledge to understand His word. Welcome to the last and final presentation of the political council. But before I enter into the last final presentation, which is going to be the political council part four, I just want to give you a brief recap of what we covered last time. Last time we covered quite a number of diversities in the political council from part one, where, where I was explaining about the prophecy and the conspiracy. We explained also in part two about the military conspiracy and the prophecy. And we explained also in part three about God being the highest politic in the spirit, how he is able to determine quite a number of developments inside political matters in the spirit. And in today's final presentation of the political council of part four we are going to be focusing on the last diverse spiritual influence and in this final segment we are going to be focusing on the influence of rulers in the spirit the influence of rulers in the spirit which is none other than the influence that is determined by God in the spirit. So I'm going to be explaining and revealing to you so that you understand that there is no other influence of whatever ruler that is appointed or anointed that is not inspired from the heavens of God. And any kind of rulership that is given the mentor to rule in the area of politics is anointed or appointed or tolerated by God in the spirit. And that rulership is influenced and that rulership influence in every ruler is influenced by God himself at the end of the day. So, for us to understand more on this presentation, let's get into scriptures in the book of Daniel, chapter 4, verse 4. And I'm going to read, I, Nebuchadnezzar, was at rest in my own house. This Nebuchadnezzar that I'm reading about was a king that reigned and he reigned during a dispensation or a season of a certain prophet that I'm going to mention very soon. I Nebuchadnezzar was resting in my own house and flourishing in my own palace. I saw a dream which made me afraid, and the thoughts upon my bed and the visions of my head troubled me. Therefore, I made a decree to bring in all the wise men of Babylon before me that they make this dream known to me and the interpretation thereof. Then came in the magicians, the astrologers, the children's and the soothsayers, and I told the dream before them. But they could not make the dream known its interpretation to me. But at last Daniel came in before me, whose name was Belchazar, according to the name of my God and in whom the spirit of the holy gods resides in. And before him I told the dream saying, now listen to me, this dream that is going to be related to Belchazar, who is Daniel, an anointed and chosen prophet of God, is a dream that was presented to a king. But this dream was carrying a mystery in which 
God wanted to inform something to the king, but he had to bring a prophet to mediate this dream. Not only was Daniel going to mediate the voice of the Lord inside this dream or to interpret this dream, but Daniel was also going to relate the meaning of this dream which had been sent by God to this king. But according to the king, the dream says, O oh, Belshazzar, master of the magicians, because I know that the spirit of the holy gods is in thee, and in no secret troubles you. Tell me the visions of the dream that I have seen, and the interpretation thereof. This, these were my, the visions of my head in my bed. I saw and behold a tree in the midst of the earth, and the height thereof was great. And the tree grew larger and was strong, and the height reached unto heaven, and the sight thereof to the end of all the earth, and the leaves of the tree were fair, and the fruit thereof were much, and it in it was meat for all, and the beasts of the field, and the shadow under it, and the fowls of the heaven dwelt in the bowels thereof, and all the flesh was fed upon it. I saw in the visions of my head upon the bed, and behold, a watcher, which was a holy one, came down from the heavens of God, and he cried aloud, thus saying, Cut down the tree, and cut off its branches, and shake off its leaves, and scatter all its, all its fruit. Let the beast and the beast get away from underneath this tree and the falls from its branches. Nevertheless, the stump of his roots in the earth, even the band of his iron and the press in the tender grass of the field, and let it be wet with the dew of the heaven. Let the portion be with the beast in the grass of the earth. Let his heart be changed from a man's, and let the beast's heart be given unto him, and let seven times pass over him. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand of the word of the holy ones, to the intent that the living may know that the Most High rules above kingdom of the men and gives into whosoever will and setteth up over it and the peace of men. This dream I, King Nebuchadnezzar, have seen. Now all Pechaza declare the interpretation thereof. For as much as all the wise men of the kingdom are not able to make known unto me the interpretation. This dream and the declaration that has been spoken by the king was a dream that was presented to Daniel so that he may interpret. And Daniel is ready to give the interpretation. And he says, My Lord, the dream be to them that hate thee, and the interpretation thereof to your enemies. The tree that you have seen, which grew, and it became strong, whose height reached heaven unto the heaven, and the sight thereof unto all the earth, whose leaves were fair, and the fruit thereof much, and in it was the meat for all, under which the peace of the field dwelt, and upon whose branches and the falls of the heaven and the habitation was seen. It is you, O my king, thou art grown and become strong, and thy greatness is grown and reaches unto heaven, and thy dominion is up all over the earth. And whereas the king saw a watcher and a holy one coming down from heaven and saying, Cut down that tree and destroy it, yet the leaf and the stump of the roots thereof in the earth, even with a band of iron and the base in the tent of the grass, this is the interpretation, O King, and this is the decree of the Most High, 
which is upon the Lord thy king, that they shall drive out the ma all men, and this dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field. All this that is being interpreted by Daniel is exactly what later befell King Nebuchadnezzar. The interpretation of the same dream that the king had is what befell the king later on. And in that very same hour, that very thing befell King Nebuchadnezzar. And he was driven from men, and he did eat the grass as the oxen, and his body was wet with the dew of heaven till his ears were grown like eagles' feathers, and his nail, nails like the bed's clothes. And at the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up my eyes unto heaven, and my understanding returned unto me. But what I want you to understand, people of God, is that the dream and the interpretation that has been given, it had been influenced by the God in heaven so that it may prove to King Nebuchadnezzar that the king who has been reigning has been influenced by the Lord. And even the interpretation that has been given by Daniel has been influenced again by God that is in heaven. And even the influence of the same dream that the king has presented to Daniel is the same interpretation that has been found in the same dream that determines the fall of a king and the rise of the same king. Now, let me take you to the book of Daniel, chapter 10, verse 1, in which Daniel was in the middle of a fast at a certain appointed time. And in those 21 days of fasting, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks, and I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth, neither did I anoint myself at all, till three weeks were full, and they were all fulfilled. And in the four and the 21 days of the first month, I was by the side of the great river, which is Hitikel. Then I lifted up my eyes into heaven. And as I lifted up my eyes into heaven, a vision was shown unto me. Then I lifted up my eyes, and I looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were gathered with fine gold and ufas, and his body was like the burial and his face was like the appearance of the lightnings, and his eyes as the lamps of fire, and his arms was as the feet, like in the color of the polished breast, and in the voice of his words, like the voice of the multitudes. And I, Daniel, alone saw this vision, for the man that I was with did not see this vision, but a great quaking fell upon them, so that they fled to hide themselves. Therefore I was left alone and saw this great vision, and there remained no strength inside me. My comeliness was turned in me into corruption, and I retained no strength. And yet I, Daniel, heard the voice of the words, and I heard the voice of the words. Then I was in deep sleep, and my face was towards the ground. And behold, the hand touched me, and said, upon me and my knees and upon my palms of my hands and he said unto me O daniel men greatly beloved understand the words that i speak unto thee and stand upright before me as i was sent and when he had spoken these words unto me i stood up trembling then he said unto me fear not daniel for from the very first day that you set your heart to understand to pray and to fast thyself and to dedicate yourself before God. Thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. But the prince of Persia 
from the kingdom of Persia withstood me for 21 days. Meaning that all this time when Daniel was praying, all his prayers were withheld in the spirit by the prince of Persia. Meaning that all this time when, when Daniel was praying, his words could not be accomplished and a new king could not reign meaning that Daniel's prayer has reached a point of determining rulerships in the spirit but the issue of rulerships in the spirit cannot be determined when the prayer of Daniel is being withheld in the spirit not only is the prayer of Daniel being withheld in the spirit but the one that has been sent with the message that appoints and anoints a new ruler in the spirit and then ordains him in the physical has been withheld in the spirit and that is Gabriel the angel being withheld by the prince of Persia for 21 days no king no rulership no leader no anointing of a new ruler could be appointed because the battle took 21 days in the spirit meaning that the lord god in heaven for him to appoint a certain king to appoint a certain ruler to appoint a certain president he has to appoint a certain angel that delivers a message that anoints a new president that anoints a new king but the anointing of a new president the anointing of a new king the anointing of a new ruler cannot be established before the message is appointed and delivered by a certain angel and gabriel is held for 21 days in the spirit for those 21 days in the spirit it is before michael the archangel the angel of war comes to rescue gabriel the major the angel of messages this is a war of princes in the spirit and when we are talking about the war of princes in the spirit we are talking about the wars of principalities that determine the kingships of continents that determine the kingship of rulers that determine the territorial invasion of certain rulers in the spirit meaning that the rulership of kings and presidents is influenced by certain principalities that are behind the powers that govern military forces in the spirit and determine the military powers in the physical child of god i want you to understand that every influence inside any politician every influence inside any ruler every influence inside any president cannot be established to rule over certain people before a certain angel is sent to anoint a certain king and daniel who represents the prophetic daniel who represents the revelation has prayed for 21 days but his word cannot be established until the anointing is established through an angel that has been anointed to come and anoint a certain ruler a certain president in the physical for 21 days whatever politics was happening in the physical could not be established whatever politics was happening inside the ballot box could not be established any result for 21 days there was a deadlock for 21 days there was no winner for 21 days there was no king for 21 days there was no president until gabriel de delivered a message that anointed a certain president that anointed a certain king in the physical realm child of god i want you to understand in the political council part four that god is the one that 
anoints kings and presidents. But before he anoints kings and presidents, there is a certain prophet, there is a certain revelator that has got the capacity to speak a word in the spirit. And that word causes the anointing of a certain president, the anointing of a certain king. But before the anointing of a certain king or a certain president, there are battles of principalities, principalities that represent different territories. And those different territories are battles that happen in the spirit and the results they are manifested in the physical but it's a process for those results to be manifested in the physical and before those results are manifested in the physical it means there are certain beckles that should happen and it's very possible that those beckles can even shed blood it's very possible that those beckles can even shed blood those beckles can cause many to die those beckles can even spill blood before a certain ruler sits comfortable on the throne anointed by a voice from heaven i hope someone is understanding me that there is no ruler there is no president there is no king there is no leader that resides that rules over a certain territory that rules over a certain nation that rules over a certain continent before he is anointed before his anointing is determined in the realms of the spirit after a certain battle is fought in the spirit i hope someone is understanding in the political council part four all all endorsements they begin and the end in the spirit the appointments happen in the physical but the anointing is, the, is in the spirit it is after spiritual battles that you cannot see in the spirit but you can feel them in the physical you can see the political conflict in the physical the season is set for a certain ruler for a certain president for certain king to finally reign but a certain blood must spill certain battles must happen in the spirit that you can see certain battles must happen in the physical that you can't see child of god i want us to raise our hands wherever we are so that we pray for the nations in the spirit that are troubled by any types of world wars any type of world wars leka proso demo sita jaka sadela basita reka pasata la basata masha kala basata reka patoshita manita yeka te prokoseta child of god raise your hand pray for the nation of zimbabwe pray against yeka te patopatota leka prosoja pray against any bloodshed that might happen in the nation of zimbabwe stop that bloodshed stop that bloodshed stop that bloodshed we pray for the political council of god we pray for the political council of god we pray for the political council of god we pray for the inspiration the influence of gabriel the angel of messages to deliver the council that influences the anointing of a president a king who is appointed by our lord god in heaven child of god we pray against any conflict of politicians any conflict that may happen in the spirit any bloodshed that may happen before the elections and after the elections we pray against the elections that are not nominated the rulership by god in the spirit we pray against all conflicts in the name of jesus i pray for the nations of god in the spirit i pray for the nation of zimbabwe whoever is going to be anointed 
whoever is going to be appointed let his will of the Holy Spirit be the will that comes from Jesus a will that comes from God not the counsel of men not the voice of the people but the influence that comes from God in the name of Jesus we pray for peace in the nation of Zimbabwe whatever conflict that is going to happen whatever bloodshed that is going to transpire father we pray for peace in this nation in the name of Jesus